Released in February of 1985, this Peter Weir drama film was a huge success, slowly scoring over 50 million in profit and 8 Academy Award nominations, and the R-rated picture won for screenplay and editing. The 112 minute narrative follows Harrison Ford as a soft-spoken police officer who goes into hiding in an Amish community to protect a small boy who is a material witness to a gruesome murder. As the plainly named John Book, Harrison easily balances the quick-thinking detective persona with a kinder romantic relationship with local Amish homemaker Kelly McGillis. In the pantheon of Ford's massively successful career, this character may not be the most interesting or memorable, but the gentler story affords him the opportunity to showcase an acting range heretofore unseen, scoring the actor his only Oscar nomination. It's this juxtaposition of a violent man in a pacifist environment that provides much of this picture's amusement and conflict. You're making a mistake. Hey, hey, hey. Boo. McGillis is equally commendable in her hesitant but inquisitive role, who shares a tender and beautiful moment with Ford as they sing and dance to Sam Cooke's wonderful world. As an elder member of the technology-free community, Han Ruve is magnificent sharing cautious wisdom and sage advice to his family, remarking on his abhorrence to violence, what you take into your hands, you take into your heart. Eight-year-old Lucas Haas kicked off a long successful career with his breakout performance here, and although he's sidelined for the second half of the story, his titular role is a pivotal one that's pulled off very well. Yosef Sommer and Danny Glover pop in and out of the story as well as the picture's requisite bad guys. Since the Amish very famously don't prefer to have their picture taken, the film's large cast of background actors were played by Mennonites, including the acting debut of Viggo Mortensen. The well-structured and appropriately paced story gives audiences a rare look at Amish culture, depicting them as overly worried and afraid, but honest and hardworking individuals. Supported by Maurice Jarry's quiet and rural sounding score, this $12 million production maintains a clean and simplistic visual aesthetic, with no gimmicky shots or special effects. As the enemies draw closer and tensions heighten, it's the star-crossed lover's relationship at the film's center that really keeps the experience fascinating and touching. That said, the action-packed finale is as intense and thrilling as they come, pinning one man, outgunned and outmanned, against a group of ruthless killers. Certainly not the most exciting or even rewatchable film, this is still a pleasant and enjoyable time for fans of old-fashioned cinema and quality storytelling. Witness may have plain presentation, but it's emotionally captivating. I thought it was a great film.